In this video, we are going to discuss the inverse trigonometric functions. So the inverse trigonometric functions are these functions that are the regular trig functions we're used to, but they have a little negative one. And whenever you see the negative one in math, that represents inverse. Now, usually, if I were to solve a problem like this, if I had x plus 2 equals 9, we would subtract 2 from both sides so that x equals 7. And the reason that works is addition is the inverse of subtraction. So if we use this as our example, if I want to do something like with what I have over here, it says sine of x is 12 over 19, you would take the inverse sine of both sides. And when I take the inverse sine of x, it becomes x equals inverse sine of 12 over 19. Now, if we want to plug this in the calculator, in order to access the inverse sine, we would have to click for the TI-84 calculator. You would click second in the first diagram. Then, when you click second, that lets you access the blue buttons, which if we look directly above the sign, we have this sine negative 1 that's blue. So we're going to click the sign button, which will bring up the sign with the negative 1. And then we're going to finish typing it in and click enter to get your final answer up above. So if we were to write out what our final answer is, you get x equals 39.167. In order to access the inverse trig relationships on the graphing calculator x84 app, you would click second in the top left corner. Then you'll notice that everything turns blue, indicating that you've turned the second mode on. So it's blue, meaning that second is on. And then once we see that, you're going to click the sign button to allow us to access that blue sign with the negative 1. And then finally, you would finish typing it in to get your answer here. So x equals 39.167. So if I want to solve a full problem like this, if it asks for the measure of angle R, we are solving for this angle R. So I'm going to mark the R, and I'm going to call this X. Now again, the first thing we still want to do is we want to label all the sides. So if I label, I have my hypotenuse, which this is our hypotenuse. The opposite side, which is the 47, and the adjacent side, which would be the 41. Now, since there isn't a side on our measurement on the RT, which is the hypotenuse, I can erase the H, which leaves me with an opposite and an adjacent. So using so Katoa, since we have an opposite adjacent, we are going to use the tangent relationship. So if I set it up, I'll have tangent of x equals the opposite will go on the top. So the opposite is 47 over the adjacent, 
which is 41. Now in order to solve, we're going to have to use the inverse trig functions. So if I take the inverse tangent of both sides, this tan cancels with that, so it becomes x equals inverse tangent of 47 over 41. And if you plug in inverse tangent 47 over 41, it gives us x equals 48.9. However, this problem asks you to round to the nearest degree, so your answer should be x equals 49 degrees. In this last example, it's asking us to solve for angle A, but it gives us a question mark. However, the question mark is really the same as if we had a variable there. So this is my angle, and I call this x. I'm still going to first label my side, so I have the hypotenuse, which is the 4, because it's across from the angle. The opposite, which is across from our reference angle, and the adjacent, which is the 1.5. Now using our relationships, since it's so Katoa, if I erase what I have nothing on, I don't have an opposite, so I'm left with an adjacent hypotenuse, meaning that we're going to have to use cosine. So if I set up my ratio, so it's cosine of x equals our adjacent goes on the top, which is 1.5 over the hypotenuse, which in this case is 4.0. Now to solve, I'm going to have to use the inverse trig functions. So if I use inverse trig, I'm going to take inverse cosine of both sides. This cosine cancels, so it becomes x equals inverse cosine of 1.5 over 4.0. If you do inverse cosine, 1.5 divided by 4.0 gives you that x equals 69.976 degrees.